Hey, what's up, internets? It's Tobin. This is Fuzzy Tolerant Screencast number 13, Pub Sub. Let me warn you ahead of time. Uh, this is going to be a bit alpha geeky. If you do not write software, you should probably go into YouTube search bar and, and put in something else. Like kittens LOL or kittens something or, you know, don't be creepy. Uh, you, you probably won't like this. This won't take very long. It's just an interesting design pattern that I, I've been using lately and that I really like. Now, PubSub, you may have heard that, or Publisher Subscriber. The, the technical name for it is the Observer Pattern. But you'll see it called Publisher Subscriber or PubSub because, you know, geeks are always in a hurry. And it's not a complicated concept. It really came from messaging and it's a design pattern where you have a publisher that publishes something and one or more subscribers that are subscribed so when that observer publishes it they get it and that's all it is if, if you've done any kind of message queue queuing type stuff rabbit MQ or something that will not be an unfamiliar concept at all now so when you think about it you're really only handling three types of events the publish event when a publisher publishes something subscribe event when a handler decides it wants to subscribe to that publisher and an unsubscribe event when that handler decided decides he doesn't really care what that publisher is publishing anymore so it's conceptually very simple and I'm going to show you how to, you could do that in JavaScript with jQuery and we'll just take a look at what it does and you'll see what I mean. And if, and if you're a JavaScript developer, any kind of developer looking at this pattern, you haven't seen it before, I think you'll see some advantages to it right away. So let's take a look at, uh, gosh, where do I have this? Uh, oh, look at all that. Oh. Okay, this is just a real, um, um, I don't know how to describe this other than bleh. But it's just a simple page with a little catcher to catch some stuff we're going to look at. We're going to do all this just with uh, the uh, console log in Google Chrome. You could use Firebug or, or what have you. But it's basically, we have two things. One, we have this tiny pub sub, which was written by Ben Allman, Cowboy Ben Allman, who I think I've shown some code from before. Really smart dude. And you'll notice there's not a lot to it. jQuery 1.7 plus with its uh, on, off, and trigger. Uh, it really kind of already does this. What we're doing here is more or less aliasing those things. So we can do a subscribe, unsubscribe, and publish. So not too complicated. So that's really all you need with jQuery to do PubSub design pattern in JavaScript. Nice, huh? So we have three functions that are going to be our subscribers. We got handler one, handler two, and handler three. The first thing a subscriber will catch always is the event. You generally will not give a flying crap about that, but it's coming, so you need something there to catch it. If, well, I guess technically you don't. As long as you're not going to take any other arguments with your function. So, let's see how this works. Let's subscribe and let's publish. All right, let's publish something. And we're going to say publish. And what you have here is basically anything you want. It's just a, a handle, a namespace for a particular event you want to publish. And we'll publish some arguments with it. And we'll hit enter and see what happens. Nothing. That's because nothing is subscribed yet. Let's subscribe something. Let's subscribe handler one to some topic. Now we'll publish again. Hello from handler one. That's what our function, ah, where'd I go? That's where our function handler one just appended. Hello from handler one. So handler one is now subscribed. We can do that again. It's going to tack it right back on there. Let's subscribe another one. Let's put handler two on there. Publish. 
Now we've got hello from handler one and hello from handler two. Both those handles are listening to this, they're, they're both subscribed to this some topic. And we can go right on and put handler three on there and publish. You'll see hello from handler one, hello from handler two, hello from handler three. Yippee. Now to unsubscribe, I haven't unsubscribed anything in a while, have I? Yeah, I'm just trying to save myself from typing here. Unsubscribe, you just give it that topic and the name of that uh, handler that was subscribed. Let's unsubscribe handler two. So now when we publish, we should only get handler one and handler three, which is exactly what you see. And that is basically PubSub in a nutshell. You're subscribing, you're unsubscribing, and you're publishing. Now, why is this cool? So you're probably saying to yourself, Tobin, why are, why are you why are you showing me this? Uh, the really huge advantage to doing code this way is loose coupling. The tighter the coupling in your code, the more it's it's you get problems. You get uh, it's it's very easy to break that way and it's very hard to reuse code that way. It's uh, just generally hard. It's harder to write unit tests when it's tightly coupled because you get, uh, uh, it's, just, it's just hard to do because everything's kind of built in there. Everything's not pushed out into separate little things you can unit test. What Publish Subscribe does is it makes it for very loose coupling. You can have code when the page loads that Nothing's really coupled to anything. Uh, and as the page events happen, you can subscribe, you can unsubscribe, and that's dynamic. It's no longer a static, this function calls this function called this function, and it's hard-coded in there, so that's going to be happening every time. At certain events and in certain places, you can subscribe things. Say, when the page first loads, these three things need to be subscribed to this. But once they run once, I can unsubscribe them, and then they're out of that loop forever. You don't have to put any kind of, you know, if you've already done this, haven't already done this, then run it when it gets to that function, or any of that kind of weird stuff. You just remove that subscription. That may come another event later on in the page's life where you want a certain event to subscribe. You can add that dynamically. So it's a way to dynamically uh, couple loosely uncoupled things it makes for for very good code it really makes you think about how you're building your application uh, it when you tightly couple things you're it's basically stream of consciousness kind of flopping go down it really makes you think about with PubSub how you're doing things now it's a very interesting design pattern it's very kind of alpha geek I apologize there's probably several of you already snoring but that's that's the observer pattern that's publish and subscribe and it has a lot of really big advantages to it and if you're using jQuery already uh, doing pub sub with jQuery is really really simple and straightforward anyway that's it short one today and uh, I will see you next month uh, some people asked me about the tile sets with tile mill what Mecklenburg's going to have their built one all done. We're actually getting some new LIDAR shortly, and we might actually have a university that does the building heights off the new LIDAR for us. So I'm kind of waiting on that because the dynamic building height on actual building height stuff was was pretty darn cool. So, so that's on hold at the moment, and maybe, shoot, maybe next month we'll get there. Anyway, hey, it's a Memorial Day weekend in the States. Have a good holiday. And I'll catch you next month.